هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos on esti epne kron thanaton, thanaton batisas, keti sentith ni masi zoif karisamenos. Alrighty. Christos on esti, Mr. Kham. It's May 3rd and it's time for Comments X. As I said before, Comments X, uh, and the whole thing, purpose behind Big Bang Theory, uh, was for me to move my research from writing papers to publishing the papers in, in a documentary format on YouTube and more particularly to keep it in a documentary format. So this is where things are going to go today. Today is a special Comments X. It's going to be my abstract submission to uh, uh, the call for abstracts for the American Heart Associations uh, sessions 2012, the scientific sessions 2012 uh, in Los Angeles. This is going to be my uh, abstract sm submission for this. Uh, now, I'm in a bizarre category because I'm in an area known as blue skies or bleeding edge research. This means that uh, my research really doesn't have a direct application right now to uh, heart disease or, or any of the medical field, but is very far out from there, but has connections that leads into it. Uh, for example, uh, the area of research that uh, my uh, medical research is in is in organic chemistry in the body. And that, and that means that we look at everything from the functions of the heart to the functions of the brain to the functions of the body itself as a, not from a biochemistry standpoint, but from an organic chemistry standpoint. In other words, we're bringing organic chemistry, the knowledge of uh, bring, uh, researching organic chemistry directly within the body. And this is taking stuff we know from the lab, from the lab bench, and applying it to the body bit by bit, very slowly, very carefully, uh, so that uh, you don't cause any damage. Uh, I've been doing this now for more than 10 years. Uh, I've been able to successfully apply it in a variety of areas, including uh, tissue regeneration. Uh, I've been able to reprogram the immune system using chemical memory. Uh, uh, even to a certain degree, uh, for those people who have uh, heart disease, uh, I've been able to readjust the uh, uh, the cardiac function so that uh, you can actually prevent heart disease in people who have histories of heart disease. This includes my family, both uh, on both sides of my family. Uh, there was heart disease. There was heart disease on my on my dad's side. There was heart disease that killed my grandfather when my dad was 11 years old. Uh, same thing happened uh, with my mom's grandfather, my mom's dad. Uh, so the grandfather on my maternal side uh, died from heart disease. Uh, now my grandmother on my dad's side was fine, but my grandmother on my mom's side had heart disease as well. She had angina and a variety of other different issues uh, that have seemed to have passed through the maternal line. Uh, to current day. So uh, I have a, you would call a predisposition or a history, uh, a family history of heart disease in my line. And I was looking at uh, some of the organic chem chem chemistry to see if there were ways of dealing with uh, prevention and changing the outcome at which heart disease would start appearing. And so far, things have been successful. But the, the number of incidents I've had have been very minor, if there have been any incidents at all. Uh, and uh, and for other people that I've, I've talked to and have been able to, to work out, a, uh, do some of the organic chemistry within their system, uh, they were also successfully uh, diverted away from uh, from a cardiac disease in terms of the number of incidents that they, they had. Uh, this was after they had been diagnosed with an in in incident. Uh, and it's not anything spectacular. A lot of the stuff simply has to do uh, 
the initial th the initial thing is one of the key factors in organic chemistry is hydration, and so the argument here would, would could f would be as follows: that a large factor when you t we were talking about uh, uh, cardiac uh, issues, particularly with people who are in uh, the senior years, uh, may be an issue simply of a hydration. It might be a hydration issue, uh, and that could be. Uh, could definitely put enough stress on the bar that you could push a person into cardiac arrest. So the research that I've been doing uh, is with organic chemistry is in the area of uh, tissue regeneration, uh, both metabolical, both metabolic and immune system reprogramming. There have been issues that I've been able to resolve with by re. re Reprogramming uh, the some of the the nervous reflex systems in within the um, within the intestines and in the bowels. Some people have had nervous disorders uh, that weren't resolvable uh, immediately uh, through standard methodologies. Uh, I use some of the uh, the principles uh, understood in, in organic chemistry, set out a program for them, and within two to three months, uh, the bowel issues had subsided. Uh, significantly that uh, they were able to retrain their bowels not to be as anxious as, as they once were. Uh, but a lot of this stuff is still very much in its infancy. There's a lot still that's unknown that has to be worked on. Because we're not really in dis drug discovery, because much, much of the drug development can actually occur within the body, if you understand organic chemistry, you actually turn the body itself into the pharmacy. So the pharmacy is the body. It's in what you're doing is organic chemistry in the body. It, this means there's no drug drug discovery because you're not really putting in any extra extra drugs. In the, you're not putting drugs into the system, which is which is basically uh, it is organic chemistry, but it's it's alien to the way the body produces things. So we're taking uh, 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 an organic chemical, some form of drug, manufactured in a lab outside the body, and then introducing it into the body. So this is a foreign substance coming into the body. Organic chemistry in the body understands the very principles that when, under which the organic chem organic principles with which drugs are created, and recreates the same condition within the body. So the body essentially produces the medication it needs from the resources, the organic chemical resources that it already has within the body. This is the whole purpose of organic chemistry in the body. So it says very early in the stages in this, very much blue skies, very high risk, but this is where I am and I am now submitting this as my abstract to scientific sessions. Uh, this is where it will be on. It's going to be on organic chemistry in the body, how, to f how it relates to uh, cardiovascular disease, how it relates to uh, issues like arteriosclerosis, thrombosis, uh, and a variety of other and how the the understanding of organic chemistry can alleviate and bring in options that are currently not available uh, in our understanding, in terms of our medical understanding of how cardio cardiovascular disease and all the peripheral disease that can be that can be actually dealt with. This includes obesity and diabetes. There's a whole area there that can be dealt with uh, with organic chemistry in the body, but this, this is very early on, so I'm submitting this as my abstract to the scientific sessions. The goal is is to publish the session, the whatever I produce, my paper, the poster, whatever they accept it as, if it's accepted, uh, to produce it on YouTube as a video within within the structure here, so that, that that rather being written, it's something that's easily available online. You can go and watch it um, and take your time going through it. Anyways, that's it for uh, this edition of Comment Sex. Uh, I will see everybody later on on YouTube t uh, today or maybe tomorrow. Uh, there's a lot going on, so I'm trying out some new things, and we'll see how things work out. All right, take it easy.